The following program is rated mature. It may contain strong, coarse language, violence, and other mature content not appropriate for children under 17. The views expressed in this program may not represent those of this cable station or its employees. It's 9 o'clock on a Friday night, so grab a seat and you just might see something really great. You've got the time, it's not too late to watch a show that will. There's nothing that they haven't tried Cause everything tastes great when it's deep fried So lock your doors and sit right down There is no better place to go Cause it's time for the Not So Late Show This is not a riddle First of all, this is the only place No. This is this is a specifically where Common Logic is not. This working. is video oh. of Stevie Wonder. I was gonna say, I hope it's not you in the show. On a jiggly LED balance board at CES, kind of dancing. Don't think about it too hard, because blood's gonna shoot out your ears. Can I ask why? Because Stevie See, Wonder. No, you're thinking about it too hard. You just gotta accept things. That just happened. Uh, you, Accept you, it. Yeah. You were just. I was a, to like that awesome. was the last day at CES, and my coworker and I were like, CES is over. <laughs> <laughs> if that don't scream over, I don't know <laughs> what to. Stevie do. Wonder's dancing. When which... Stevie Wonder's jiggling on a balance board LED thing, he holding the hands. CES is over. Hey, you know what? He's got better moves than we do. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a lot more money. How the heck are you, Brad? Oh. And that's when live pictures really just... <laughs> Let me see. Was there you it, go. Was that his thing? I, I don't know. He was just there. I don't know. So I'm back. I traveled a lot. I you worked did. a lot. I'm you still did. working. As we speak? Right now? Right, right now. now. You're not even awake. No. Hmm. Um, let's see. Who's the girl in like a onesie next to I her? don't know. She You're not. thinking about it too hard. Well, can't really tell. I'm just trying to get Brad a date. Anyways, so I was out at, uh, in California for a couple events, and then I was at the Consumer Electronics Show. Don't, don't mind the guy in, in, a, in a hoodie that says Dr. Fuji keeping it sexy. Why am I... Ah! No. There's, there's, right, there's, no. there's a lot you could dissect from that picture. This is a lot you shouldn't, though. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. But we uh, we were talking about CES. Yeah. About next time you go to one of these things, whatever it might be, uh-huh. you're gonna walk around with like X. Yeah, yeah. So that was my that was one of my big takeaways is that there's a large contingent of people at Consumer Electronics Show. Now you you would assume like uh, E3. Right. Or like BlizzCon or something like that. But these are to supposed be to be industry professionals. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. People that work like in a suit and tie or some of the time. Or, or at least know Button what shirts. office casual yeah, means. Exactly. Right. Like this is office, relatively office casual. And this is not. That's no, not. The dog hair is. Yeah, yeah. The dog hair don't, is. Don't. Oh, you're, well, no, that is office casual because you're wearing a fur coat at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's very, it's office formal, actually. It's like, uh, one of those llama very warm. suits. Very warm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, there seemed to be a vast, uh, inability to understand the meaning or purpose of deodorant. Hmm. Or antiperspirant. Now, I think that you had one up to this suggestion because you, I said, it's a shame that Axe doesn't make a good deodorant. They make a fine body spray. I'm... They make a... It works. They work. They make a passable body spray. It, it works. It sprays. It smells. It's a fine body spray. I didn't say it smells good or it lasts long. Is, does I that make say, a skunk a body sprayer? Yeah. A lot. Uh, yes. Uh, by that definition. Uh, a, a, a bio something. Something or other. Anyways, I'm no. saying I should get a whole bunch of the... I, like. I got that solved. Okay. I, I got you. What you got? So you walk around with little pine air freshener necklaces. And just oh, my <laughs> God. That's even... All right. So here... No, no, no. All right. It's much better than this. Just, you remember Take that... Take cattle guns and no. tunk everybody that smells? No. You remember that refillable fire extinguisher? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. What am I filling that with? Like, do I just, like... Do I, like... High pressure. Well, wait, wait. Do I, do I, like, get, like, a glade and, like, 
stab it with a screwdriver, throw it in, and turn the cap on really quickly? I mean, what am I doing? It's going to be water-based, so that way they can't yell at you. You're just helping. Okay. You're going to take the like scent in there. Oil? It burns! Yeah, let's get a lavender. A, la <laughs> a lavender <laughs> is a good uni Base, unisex it's, type. It's not over-pungent. It's I'm pleasant. still saying that my best option is backpack with just those little mini travel deodorants and just super passive aggressively just hand them out. Here, you seem like you need this. You need this. Although, like, I think I could get away with that versus the pine air fresheners, although they would be less expensive in bulk, would probably be a bit much. It might start a, a fight. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just hang it off of them. Like, what? Right. Like, put it on their backpack. But here, everyone has a backpack. But here's know. what you do. You put our logo on it, and you just write it off as a, uh, a advertising expense. expense. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, I just need some air fresheners with, like, a little bit of sticky on the back. So I can, like, think on the back of a backpack. <laughs> just kill Yep, problem as you walk, solved. As you walk by somebody. You're welcome, Nevada. You know? Uh, so that was fun. You're just saving lives. I am. That's all you're doing. Uh, I went trilobite hunting when I was out there. What's a trilobite? Trial by what? Uh, yeah, don't, fire. Don't eat too oh. much. Uh, no. Oh, you oh, can find that. oh, yeah. No, uh, trilobite is like, it kind of looks like a weird horseshoe crab type thing, except it lived several hundred million years ago. Oh, okay. And you can find them in shale deposits. So I was out driving through the middle of nowhere, Nevada. And as one does, I see Bureau of Land Management trilobite something. And I'm like, ah, paleontology. Uh, so I turn off and it's gold. like, gold. And it's like, you can dig for trilobites here. And I'm like, hot damn, I will. So it's like a couple mile hike out. And see then you right out there with a jackhammer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to no, find had, them all. I didn't, have any, I didn't bring any tools with me, but there's like this old rusted metal box there. And you open it up. This is like busted ass spade and a little kind of rock pick and a little prior thingy. And it was like, yeah. all right, I grabbed that. And I just walked off into the wilderness in Nevada with no cell phone service for four hours. Hunting for trilobites. And? I came back! With the yeah. trilobites? I, I did. Oh, Yeah, they're, they're small. But yeah, I came back with several specimens. Well, yeah, they're not that big normally. And uh, yeah, because it, it, it occurred to me several times I was out there, like, if something happens to me, mm. no one will find my body till spring. Nope. Maybe. 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 Yeah. Maybe. Might find your bones. Mm. They find a bone. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So, uh, that was fun. Let's look um, for the vultures. Uh, oh. No, th this yeah. is, because this is the perfect topic for our show. Good. Uh, I went to a place in... In Nantucket. No, in... You met a man who said... Yeah, fuck, fuck it. And, um... But he sat on a bucket. Pasadena, California. Uh, there's a restaurant out there called The Crack Shack. Hmm. <laughs> It is named that because they serve mostly so they chicken. So they sell drugs. Drugs. Yeah. In the form of chicken. Oh. And covered milkshake. Covered with drugs. Yes, covered with drugs and milkshakes. They had a cookie monster milkshake. Okay. So it's basically like cookies and cream. Yeah. Except with like heavy on the cookies mm -hmm. and also heavy on the blue food coloring. Okay. Imagine my surprise about seven hours later. Bright blue. Shit. Bright blue. Yeah. For the next three days that's amazing <laughs> i would love that i have a you picture say, do you i do did of you the, really of take the a drink picture? or of the poo yes <laughs> i don't i don't want to but i want to see it when are you ever going to see bright blue shit this again this is life? this is a, a poor picture i put it in my recently deleted but <laughs> would, it's tough under that light yeah, but would, trust me on that one it just looks like a bowl of poo but it but like oh zoomed in and enhanced clearly enhance Shit enhance. Um, it, it was blue. And, like, for the next, like, I had often wondered, like, God, if I ever have to have surgery in the next few days, you surgeon go back is going to be so confused. You know what you should have done after did, that? Did, huh? Wait, did we put the orange dye or a blue what, dye yeah. in his body? You should have had beets after that. Did then you... I have purple? Yeah, because yeah, there's Then no... you could have had barium, and that would have turned it white, and you could have been patriotic. <laughs> Because there's, no, yeah, that's, um, it, it, the intestines went through enough. <laughs> why would I, why would I eat Can you beets eject? like that in purpose? It's like, oh, did I eat beets or am I dying? <laughs> that's the surprise. I can, Can you actually yeah. eat barium? No, well, you drink, drink barium. You drink it? It's mm -hmm. a barium solution. Yeah, it's part of a test that they do. Uh, when I had my acid reflux stuff, that's what you do. You drink barium. And, and then they x-ray it. And then they put you under a special x-ray and they watch it mm -hmm. inside. And I got to watch it too. I'm like, oh, that explains the acid reflux. Why is it just goes, yeah, yeah. You, you lay down flat and you can see it. And when, because with me, it's so 
strong. Mm -hmm. You just watch the bear and go, rip, 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 rip. and I'm like, oh, cool. <coughs> because it was like, it was all the way up there. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to cough any, <coughs> there it is. Cool. Hey, can I bring this home with me? <laughs> this is great. They're like, no. Well, like, no, you would die from You're like radiation. radiation. Yeah. Radiation. Radiation. Did it really turn it white? Oh, yeah. Like, white. for how long? White. For how long? Uh, two sittings. Wrong answer. Oh. At least 24 inches. Oh. I, <laughs> I, ah! I, yeah! I wish. Uh, anyways, um, this is not what I meant. Anyways. No, but I, I got it. Yeah, no there work. you go. As long as someone gets it. Uh, hey, um, yeah, so I did it. Yeah, what else did I do? I went some hiking. did some hiking. I went out to, uh, towards Area 51. I saw. I bought some E.T. Fresh Jerky. Of course was you not did. Made, was not made of E.T. I was very disappointed. Oh. oh. Found a great Mexican restaurant in the middle of nowhere. Okay. It's in hey. Caliente, Nevada. It's called was the it, Alamo Diner. Was it hot? It was Mexican food. Ah. It was good. No Caliente. Eh, un pequeño caliente. Okay. No bueno. No, es bueno. Pequeño? Uh, piquito? Un poquito? Yeah. Un poquito? I don't know. Español is muy mal. Um, si. Uh, was gonna say, I don't even know where I was going. Hey, what'd you do the past month? Had Christmas. You had? had we had, were here post Christmas. Yeah. Well, I don't think I was. Yeah, you were. We were. Yeah. No, because I was. It was the end of the year, and the end of the year is not good for Pat. I think I did sixty-hour weeks. Eh, that's it. That's nothing for you. I know, but it doesn't. Are you sure it isn't like sixty-hour half weeks? Mm. Well, I should say like Monday through Friday, and set. I did a sixty-hour week, and then you added on another fourteen. I did actually hours. end up working on Saturday but and not and uh, Sunday. No, 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 I think and, I slept. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. But, but it was at work, as you would no, describe no, no. to us. I figured out a new method. Uh -huh. If you cram all your sleep into one day, <laughs> it'll cover you for like five. Hmm. Uh -huh. um, I'm here to tell you, in the middle of that experiment, it's not working. No? No. Oh. I, I remember texting you guys saying, yeah, when I started to see things, I knew I needed to stop working. Uh-huh. And I legit saw... Dead people. Well, yeah. When when you get tired, your mind plays tricks on you. And I saw what I would consider like shadow people or shadow things right. moving. And I'm like, oh, my, my, bad. my brain is just not processing where the light is and the darkness is mm -hmm. fast enough. It's not and it's working. It's creating like an image, so to speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like, I think I need to sleep tonight. I think you do. So other than that, had a good Christmas. Had a decent New Year's. You know, nothing... Right home about. What, did you get anything good for Christmas? I don't remember now. Well, that's disappointing. I got a... Well, I'll be sure to tell all your loved ones that whatever you got them wasn't important enough to remember. No, I mean, like, I got stuff, but it's... it's a... <laughs> stuff? No, it's just, it's not... It's not when we were... Oh, no, Brittany, did it. This is, I don't know why I'm the most excited yeah, about this. Don't forget that, because otherwise... She, she got me uh, two Nerf guns. That is that is actually with, like, with extra stuff. Cause I've always wanted a Nerf gun fight just ran to randomly break out. But the first thing she did, because I got so excited, I opened it up and I loaded the thing up. It's like a big big revolver. And then and, you and, and she said she said, "Oh my, yeah, you know, you're just, just shoot me with it, shoot, pop." And she, ah, you shot me. And she's like, "That hurts." We did that once here. You can ask Doug about it. Uh huh. These things are insanely accurate. Now they're not like when we were kids. His nipple still hasn't popped back out. Has not. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh balls! Ooh, oh, those are fun. Uh, you gotta get. We got one of those marshmallow shooters. I got a Groot Chia <laughs> Pet. Did you? Mm -hmm. What uh, a Groot Chia Pet? Lou! Whoa! Hey, there's stuff for you on the counter. Yay! And it has and it has yeah. no fingerprints. Yay! Woohoo! I only put my Chinese on it four times. Oh, uh, I hate fingerprints. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> well, if they're there, we it, at least it's from a celebrity. That's true. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's okay. not me. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure where to go with any of those. It's from somebody who won an Emmy. Ooh. Wait, he did win an Emmy. Who? I mean, a primetime sports Emmy, but still. Did you say Steve Buscemi? Yes. Nice. Oh. Um, Real nice. Does that almost count? Yeah. Steve Buscemi? Almost. I actually had something that I was, was going to say, but it's gone now. 
Must not have been important. Nope. Can I select seats on this fucking thing? Oh, I did get something interesting for Christmas. It's back. Herpes. No, nope. oh. it was actually from Brad. Herpes? He what got, was that? What got, did I get you? He got me a sous vide machine. I did. And uh, you want to explain what a sous vide machine is? Nope. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, sorry. It, I, 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 that was a cue. Uh, <laughs> that was a cue, not a question. Yes. Horse it door is, base? It is sous vide. Yes. It is French for constant temperature. It is essentially a water circulator that circulates water in a pot at a very precise temperature. So you can do things like cook steaks to exactly medium rare from top to bottom and make you, them super... You can super... actually cook it to any yeah. type of cooking. Like you can do, you do rare, medium, rare... Super tender, medium, super amazing, yeah. yeah. Have you have you used it yet? Uh, I have. And? It works exactly as I wanted it to. Uh, what did you cook? I made, a st- I made two steaks. Did you? Yep, there was two sirloin steaks. Was one miss? Miss? Steak? No, there were, ah! no, there, there were no, there were no mis- mistakes at all. Oh. I, I actually followed um, uh, the it was recipe. A, it was a very, exactly. It was a very, it was a very quick recipe um, because you just salt and pepper the steaks, and uh-huh. then you throw it into like a vacuum seal bag, which or you can use a, a Ziploc bag and just get as much air out as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have a, a meat packer at home, so it, it, a vacuum sealer. Right. So I use that. It sounds dirty. And I actually it is. put. Um, a little bit of butter in and with it. Nice. And then... Well played. Let it go for about, I think it was two and a half, three hours? How thick a steak was it? It, it was about an in, inch, inch and a half. Perfect. Yep. And Nailed it. It told me how to do everything. Yep. It, the, the app just said, what are you cooking? All that stuff. And yep. Does they it said, okay, French person? and go. Mm-hmm. So I, I did that, and then I got a, a pan really hot. Yep. Like, with a little bit of oil, a, a, a lot of... And I threw in some oil butter. Oil. Yep. Um, and then just... Slap. Sear just sear the shit out of it for like fifteen seconds. Well, it, I went a little bit longer yeah. because I actually put some butter in there okay. with some rosemary. Ooh, and I want to get it in there, yeah. And was you know whipped, yep. and flipped it over and got, like, seared all the sides off. Don't tell Brittany. Uh, no, I ate them both. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, really good. Yeah, and I'm I, I, that thing can cook anything. Yeah, like, did you do some veggies in there? Eggs, I have not yet. No, um, I I I've, I've basically been hoarding up. A bunch of recipes okay. to try. All right. Like, you know, I mean, a bunch of different meats. You can do, like, yeah. eggs. You can do any type of egg you want. I'm a... I've never tried eggs in there. You can do... Yeah, you can. Interesting. You don't have to... Obviously, you don't need to put them in a bag. Right. If you're hard-boiling them. Right. Which, I don't know why you wouldn't... Oh, yeah, that's a, not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, you put, you put them in there for a certain amount of time, and it'll... I don't know if the app will tell you this, but there are timings and temperatures and stuff like that out there to get the egg... Um, so I, that, like you can have so like a yolk, a, a not solid yolk, but the, the but the white is cooked. Yeah, kind of deal. you could have, and you because it's all about the, the whites you want to have cooked. Right. But the yolk, you can have different. It gives you like the exact temperature and time for the yolks to be runny, Ooh. Um, to be yeah. like slightly gelled, Jell- yeah, uh, gelled, and then uh-huh. fully yeah. boiled. But if you're gonna hard boil and they went you just hard boil, yeah. Them. Um, so I'm excited to try some of that. I, Ooh, that sounds amazing. You know, they're doing salmon and everything. Yeah. And there, there's, I actually subscribed to a guy's YouTube channel. That's, <laughs> that's called. He su- had us all in. Uh, yeah. That's called sous vide everything. Okay. So he literally is just trying to cook anything. Everything. Sous-vide. Anything he can. The, the, weird, the weirdest thing I th- think I've seen people try to cook sous vide is like cookies. You could do it. Yeah, but yeah. They, they grow a little bit. So I mean, yeah, I don't weird. know how that all works. Yeah, but either way, yes, it would be interesting. Yeah, so I'm glad you like it. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Nice, Jay. What did you do the past two weeks? I worked. Boring. Did you? Did you? Did what? What would you say you do here? I'm a people person. Uh, talk to the engineers so the people don't have to. <laughs> I've got people skills, God damn it! The hell is wrong with you people? I can't say one thing that did happen while we were not here. Okay. I had a very positive experience. You had a really baby. with the with a large corporation. Really? Yeah. Well, that doesn't so happen. I had a I bought a label maker last summer. Okay, summer. good. Yeah, that, the, that sounds good for the story. Like, well, like that prints out like the white labels or like that white old labels, that yeah. old school like. I was gonna say if this had anything to do with AT and T, I was gonna have to find a bigger hole to bury the body. Mm. No. No, so I bought a label maker, and with it came Duralock Duracell batteries, which are like, they'll never leak, they'll never explode, these are right. here forever, hooray! Yep. <laughs> so so I put the batteries in. Away. 
we but, know where this story is going. I put the batteries in, made uh-huh. my labels at the time, just yep. left it in a climate controlled room in the living room. Mm-hmm. Yep. And just let it sit there. So wifey wanted to have a couple labels for something. I'm like, oh, I could use my label maker. Woohoo, right. this is awesome. Grab it, try to turn it on, nothing. I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, these shouldn't be dead. I mean, they're right. Duracells, and I've used it like three times. So right. I'm like, what gives? Pop it open. Ooh. One of the batteries just let loose. Maybe two, I'm not really sure. Right. Oh. So I'm like, After one oh. goes, it's kind of hard to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I pop them all out. I clean it keep, all out. I I clean it the best I can. I didn't put a ton of effort into it. I'm probably going to go for round two. Right. Right to Duracell. I took pictures of it. Uh-huh. Like, hey, I know you guys are, like, huge on the... Our stuff never explodes or leaks or anything, but I had this incident. Right. So they're very responsive, got back to me very quickly, and they're like, okay, we just... And, you know, the initial form, they're like, just tell us some basic right. stuff. And they're like... They ask very specific questions. What kind of device? What's the price? Right. You know, how long was it? What kind of battery? You know, where did you store it? All this other stuff. So I answered everything honestly. I'm like, yep. here's everything. And they're like, you know, we're very sorry. We always strive to uh, give our customers the best. And they asked me what the purchase price was. And it's only like 30 bucks. Right. It wasn't breaking the bank. And they wrote back to me this afternoon saying, you know, we're sorry. You know, these, you know, environmental things can cause this to happen, like heat and other stuff. And we're going to send you $30. Oh, God damn. And I'm like, holy shit. Wow. That, that's, I mean, it's only 30 bucks. Right. It's a multi-billion dollar corporation. But $30 still, is not. But still, but I'm like, they're like, we guarantee this product did, wasn't going to do something. It, it did, did it, it which yeah. it shouldn't have. Yeah. You've let us know about this, this situation. We're going to make it right. That's like, that's, hmm. that's good to hear. Yeah. I could have yeah. said, oh, it was in an Xbox controller or it was in a big thing. I'm like, no, I'm not going to yeah. lie. Right. I mean, if they're saying this battery is not supposed to do this and it did it right they probably want to know so it's like which Wait, one which was that you know yeah. what was right does it not work right with this you know do they whatever. have a faulty manufacturing line etc right. etc yeah yeah i mean the batteries i mean i only had it for eight months right maybe right but the manufacturer day and the battery was like july of 2014 right. right so that label maker could have been sitting there for like ever right no one i mean who knows the but they're knows. but they're good till 2020 because they're on there, you know, they were just huge. And I, I actually wrote back. I said, you know, thank you for doing that. That's mm-hmm. awesome. You've gone above and beyond. I'm going to tell friends and coworkers of my positive experience. So there that's why I wanted to share it here because, you know, they made good on it. Hot damn. Yeah. What so, do you know? What do you know? There are companies that care about their customers. It's true. And they make batteries. But they're not AT&T. They're no. not. Because they're evil, evil human beings. Fuck them. Yep. <laughs> Hey! 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 Tech news? Jay's watching a movie. You are tech news. You went to CES. Yeah. Uh-huh. What is there? I purposely Creepy didn't. robots. I purposely didn't do any CES stories because I'm like, I don't need to because he's Creepy there. Creepy robots, 5G, and Stevie Wonder on an LED balance board. That's it? That's it. That's all. No new camera innovations, no new. Oh my God! This Photoshop is gonna unblur everything that never comes out ever. Don't worry about it. Just kidding, guys. That function's never gonna happen. Oh. Nope. It was a down year for CES. Let's be honest. I found a lot of good stuff for where I work, but um, like in terms of like the big things, a lot of 8K. You still work which, at Santa's workshop? Yeah, Santa's workshop. Yep. Uh, which is very funny because I saw someone who looked like Santa there. And it's like coworker. I'm like, ah, Santa, getting ideas for next year. Uh, but, Man, uh, but we all knew 8K was coming. Yeah, didn't but, we though? But isn't it true that the human eye can't see 8K or no. distinguish a difference between four and eight? No. So what can the human eye actually see up to in terms 8K of resolution? 8K is approaching. So is it like nine or ten? It's it's resolution isn't a good. Isn't a good compare. You can detect that, like, the. You won't see the difference in individual pixels, but you can detect the difference in quality. How so? Give me a for instance. Like, here's a picture of. Chris Evans as Captain America. You think that he's dreamy 4K. Yeah. Super dreamy 8K. It just, like, it's, it's tough. Yeah. I always dream of one. It's tough yeah, to quantify because there are codes, cones and rods in your eye. They're not, they're not pixels. There so are to speak. not cones or ro- rods in my eye. I've looked. 
And what did you see? And I'm on. on so many levels. Um, and uh, <laughs> but it is it is discernible to the to human vision that it looks more realistic and true to life. But how how realistic do we need to get? AK is not a bad not a bad place to be. Do you think that they're going to be like, oh, we can do 16K? Eventually. And then 32K. Yeah, but there's got to be a point it's where like, it's well, like... Well, then why don't you know what? Live action. Just go see a play. <laughs> why would we do that? Why would we ever leave our homes? Haven't, hasn't Amazon taught you anything? Marionettes. Yeah. Learn them. What? What is this? The apocalypse? And we've reinvented society? And then there's a traveling puppeteer going from town to town trying to entertain us with his wares on puppets? Is that what this is to you? Okay. Because I have a lot of movies up here. Right. Yeah. I'd be the marionette guy. Oh, no. Be like, Luke, uh, I'm your second uncle twice removed. Uh, no, to... I don't even know what that means. <laughs> uh, family. Um, so, AK, yeah. So, there is there is a benefit to it. Um, it's 8K is coming. But there has to be a limit because... Eventually, be like, oh, here's 12K, and you're like, yeah, there's, I see no difference hey, in from way, 8. Maybe, but 8K ain't it. I but know, who's I making 8K content? There's can, barely people making 4K content, let alone 8. Uh, there's, huh? there's people making 4K content. What's that? More now. Yeah. There's but, a ton of people making 4K oh, content. Oh, let me tell you. Boys, yeah. that TV. We're might, still standard definition. Yeah, we're still standard. You're comparing us to freaking Optimum, whatever, a local access. Yeah. Listen. Yeah? We're not 4K. We should be 4K. If you watch my, my Xbox play a, play a Blu-ray of Avengers Infinity War no. and then a, a 4K of it on my 4K player, yes, I have both because they came in a package. Thank you. Nice package. There is a difference. Because I actually had them both playing and I was flipping between both inputs. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, I mean, it's not super noticeable, but it, it's much better. We're going to get to 8K, and then someone may do something later. 8K. Do you think 3D is going to make its way back? Uh, not my, my TV's the, still 3D. Not in the glasses sense, probably. When they come out with a TV that actually legit does 3, 3D without glasses, that doesn't look like ass. So several of them out at CES, and they all look like ass. Like the blurry, almost like the red and blue. No, it's, it's just like you've got like 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 twitchy eye syndrome. Oh, because it's trying to focus on the images in the room. Not even that. It's just like the screen itself. It's like oh, really? Like because they're trying to get three D and they, the difference between the spacing yeah. your eyes. So anytime you move even like a little bit, it's like you know, it's, it's not, like what? it's not and it's not it's not great. And you have to be sitting right in front of it. Or yeah, you're yeah. yeah. Well, not right in front of it. You have some angle, but it's just not it's not great. Eventually. Eventually. Eventually, we'll all be living in the Matrix pad. You know that. Or we we're, we're not already. already. In the Matrix. Oh, for fuck's sake. How many times have I told you not to reveal the deep dark secret? I didn't, dude. Elon went on Joe Rogan. Whatever. And just revealed everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, a ima imagine the mind fuck that I had because I listened to Neil deGrasse Tyson uh -huh. on Joe Rogan, and then I was like, oh, I got Elon Musk. Wait, that happened? What? Neil deGrasse Tyson went on a Rogan. Times. Really? Yeah. I gotta go find those. And um. And, uh, and I, I had been stockpiling a bunch of podcasts because I'm subscribed to so many. And I was like, oh, look at that. I also have a, um, I have Elon Musk's right after that. So I'm like, mm -hmm. the universe is like ever expanding and this, that, and the other thing to boom, we're already in the, we are in the simulation. I'm like, what the hell is what? happening? So I was off this whole week. You've been off for years. Went on a road, went on a little bit of a road trip, you know, a couple of hours, just kind of driving around. Where'd you go? Just driving. Oh, you go out of state? Yeah, made it up. You to knock me. over a fruit stand? Maybe. All right. Michael Bay was there, so there you go. Fruit stand had to go, and it exploded. Yep. Then something turned. I heard, a <laughs> and then I ran over Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Felt bad about it because uh -huh. I really do love even Stevens. Mm -hmm. Um, but then, um, yeah, I just put, I listened to both of those right in a row. Okay. And I got home and I'm like, well, I really don't know what happened. All right. You know what I haven't listened to in a while? Doug's podcast. Give me more episodes. Uh, sorry, I lost my voice. That was, the, that was the reason. That's a crap reason. You, give up yet. you should have done a, like a four-minute silent episode where it's just <laughs> somebody saying, we're sorry. The people done rust, rustling pepper, peppers, papers. Just, just like, a, we lost our voice. It's just you rustling, like, tapping the on the microphone. Write the script and have Doug try, 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 try to do, like, Yeah, like, more, trying to Morse code it out by tapping on the microphone. Uh, 
Oh, man. These are all <laughs> you know, I'm just... This isn't annoying at all. Yeah, tap, 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 oh, tap, 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 tap. We what, know. It wouldn't, yes, it would have been awe-inspiring. Oh we would have listened to it and we've gone, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Um, there, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what else, what else uh, tech news related, Jay? Well, I don't know. So all we have are uh, robots and 8K? It was creepy robots, 8K, and 5G. Creepy what about, robots what about doing cameras? what? What's that? What about, like, DSLR? Uh, Panasonic announced they showed like a reference 8K camera. Are they finding? Oh, I was I'm sorry, say JV. No, not JVC. Uh, Panasonic. Sharp, Sharp showed like a reference handheld 8K camera. I was gonna say Panasonic. What are they doing? Finally getting up to four megapixels? No. Kodak. Kodak's coming uh, back in the. Oh, oh, they had a big booth no. there. No. They legit did. I believe it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, what were the creepy robots doing? Um, plotting our murder. Oh, okay. You didn't see the creepy robots I posted? No. Oh, I'm going to show you some creepy robots, man. No, Brittany deleted her Facebook, so I don't get apprised of when people post things. I wait, don't really go on Wait, do you, do, you, do you know SpongeBob SquarePants? Yeah. Do you know the Million, do million Dollar Hat episode? No. Okay, well, it's not needed. Must but have missed that one. Still, still uh, like, I'm sorry you're missing this at home, but then again, I'm not. Sorry, not sorry. Should we play a good video? Oh, I remember. Yeah, I've seen that one. So why were they doing this? Japan. Because CES. So what's the point of those robots? Japan. And are they going to mass produce? Japan. Okay. <laughs> it's weird that that answer is actually answering all of my questions. Uh-huh. And then there was Murderbot 3000. Ooh. Did it... Uh, maybe. There was a robot hitchhiking? Did it murder you? It was definitely... It said, let's go digging in the desert for troglobites. Oh, you didn't see that one where the, the hitchhiking robot got ran down by the uh, self-driving Tesla? <laughs> I did hear about that. I did hear about uh, that. You were trying to take over the world. See? Term Terminator is true. Hold on. I'm going to find creepy murder bot. Okay. So, Jay. Hi. What'd you do for New Year's? Slept. I had to be to work the next morning. Oh, creepy murder bot. Doesn't have arms, but if it does, it's going to strangle the shit out of you. So it's just looking, pretty, looking at him. Pretty sure I saw it in the fifth element. Oh, rest assured, if that thing gets any sort of arms, it's going to kill you. Does it talk? Is it just because it's got, like, pinky, purpley eyes? No, no, that's a murder bot. Hmm. Definitely a murder bot. What is it supposed to, what's that supposed to do? I don't know. It just murder people, probably. <laughs> I don't think what, that it's gone around to the arms part yet. What the, was what was the point of that? For the developer Kill to all say, humans. Yeah. The developer whispers to it. Yeah. That one. And uh, it just memorizes yeah. you. <laughs> so, so, so then you see it like, kind of like roaming around looking at and then he says that. He goes. Uh-huh. All of a sudden the eyes go from a pretty pink to a deep dark red. Yeah, and I'm just. Thanks. You were all Whoa. in trouble. It's true. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Mm -hmm. it definitely, if that, if that. Bot had appendages that would murder with Master, them. Master, please work on that. Yep. It, it, it sees like a robotic hand start twitching and turn into the thing and yeah. <laughs> pop itself out uh -huh. there and just start going. Ah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's the that's the murder bot three thousand. Starts assembling itself. Um, goes over to the little clappy things to get itself some arms. Yeah. It was. Uh, then it walks up to the guy. Just goes. <laughs> the cl clap on. They didn't have that yeah, much strength in the robot clapping. I'm looking up. I didn't. I, I almost wish I had gotten more information on those clappy Japan robots. What they're what they're meant to do is to help you roll out some pasta. So you just put the pasta in on top while they uh -huh. start clapping and just psh, 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 they just flatten it no, out. No, they're they're there so you don't have to clap to shut off your clapper. <laughs> so then you go murder bot. To, I mean clapper bot. Clap two times for me. I, I yeah, but then they do it too slow and then it's just forty five hundred dollars. For what? The murder bot? No, the, the clap clap on. The clapper? It's called Big Clapper. <laughs> How much? $4,500. Are you shitting me? Ikarada ine? What? 
So you can talk in your apartment, and when you say something witty, you can get a nice slow clap from the robot. <laughs> <laughs> don't, he said, don't touch me there. Uh huh. Okay, so now it's a chubby guy sitting in front of it. I don't, it's times like this I wish I spoke Japanese. That's... What? What? I really think that's just a blowjob robot. Oh, it comes with an app. Good. Okay. Well, we just wasted a minute of our lives. We're never getting it back. Only 89 more to go! Wait, only how many more? Oh, in the show. Not not your line. Oh, God, thank God. That's only 120. Um, Excuse me? Nothing. Okay. Uh, yeah, so clap, clapping. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you two promises right now. Mm. One. If I ever win more than like $200 million in Powerball or Mega Millions or yeah. something like that, not only are you getting a Christmas tree every day for a month leading up to Christmas, but on Christmas Day you're going to get like 30 of those things in your, <laughs> in your living going. room. You're gonna you're gonna walk into your living room to a cacophony of stupid clapping robots. You mean, and the mailman will be just slowly delivering Christmas tree after Christmas tree, uh -huh. and slowly he'll see accumulated burnt Christmas trees in my front yard. <laughs> yeah, just planted in there. Although, interestingly enough, that you mentioned that uh, Drakeville burned all the Christmas like that a Christmas tree yeah, bonfire this year. I know that was that's actually I was I saw some video and I was disappointed to see that they did a few at a time, not like all of them at once. <laughs> I was like, Christmas tree bonfire, 200 Christmas trees. I'm sad I'm missing this. But it was like, you got three. You just tossed two on. I'm like, oh. Well, they go up in like 30 seconds. I know. That's why he's just like, leave a bread cradle of, like, of, of gunpowder just leading it up to it. Yeah, or are you going to leave a trail of Christmas trees? Like, have like five Christmas trees that burn into the big pile of 150 of them or something like that. No, see, if they were smart, they would have taken the trees and made a spell send nudes and then lit on fire. So uh. airplanes going overhead to Bradley would be like, send... What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Right? Yeah. Disappointed. Um, hey, Very. what else do we have for tech news? So just a few little short stories just because I was bored. <laughs> you can you can just No, he can take a nap for this. Mm. Then he won't interrupt. No, no, if I cause a little bit of pain, it wakes him up a little bit. No, just, I learned that on myself. Just let him go. He's kind of cute. So if you got an iPad Pro, one of the newest ones of uh, recent Apple-ness, mm. and if you notice it has a bit of a bend in it, Stop. Apple said, that's to spec. Fuck off. Really? Yeah, you're good. Like a bend in, it, in it's the within, back or in the front? Yeah, bend. Bend. The whole thing. Should hmm. Get it. it. It's in spec. They said um. it has a tolerance to bend, and if it does, if it doesn't work, yes, well, then it's fine. That's basically Apple's answer. So what you're saying is don't sit, not not when you buy it new, but like... No, when you buy it new. Like brand really? new out of the box, it can be a little bent. Uh, and after using it a bit, it could get a little more bent. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. No, no, that's literally all... There's there's no bend. That, that's not an Apple, so... That looks pretty straight. Yeah, well, that's not an Apple, that's why. Yep, great, thank you. That looks pretty straight, too. The fine craftsman's eye. And with all the times I've sat on this thing, it that did not come out right. Pretty... <laughs> uh, wait, no. Wait, no. Never mind. Don't worry. I'm ignoring it. It's pretty straight and narrow. Mm. Um, they're not supposed to bend. Well, they're not bending. They're just being. They're just coming out. No, the, no, but they're not supposed to be. No, they're not. Yeah. But it's fine. No, I'm saving okay. it for you, you know what would happen if like my phone bent? I would return it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and expect a non-bent version of my phone. Mm -hmm. Well, we're talking iPads, not phones. True. If I bought an iPad that was bent, I would an iPad Pro, which is about twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I, would, I would expect it to at least be straight. Details. Well, that's unfortunate. And not slightly boomerangish. Well, what else we got? Hmm. Uh, so you remember? Speaking about of companies doing what's right for their people. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you remember, uh, about a month ago, we talked about the new CBS show that's going to be uh, based on Captain Picard. CBS mm. is doing a... CBS, CBS is indeed. CBS. Uh, Alex, 
Alex Kurtzman, who is the show's creator, has revealed that the streaming show will tie into events mentioned in J.J. Abrams' 09 Star Trek movie. Interesting. Oh. So it's going to be drawn from there, and that is going to have a very dramatic effect on the iconic character. Ah, oh. because oh. it'll be after the Dominion War and after the Romulan homeworld destruction and all the rest of that. Yeah. I don't know what any of that means. Nerd! You're the nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't hear, there's going to be a... No, that's what I meant. You heard, essentially. Oh. Uh, there's going to be a price hike in Netflix. Another yes. $2 oh. if you no! have the top packages. One if you have the lower. But if you think about how much original programming they have and mm -hmm. all the shows they've done, mm. $2 is not a lot. That's true. $16 for high def and four streaming at the same time. That's only 50 cents each day. I watch Bob Ross and fall asleep to it. That's... And that's well worth it. <laughs> well worth it. This is uh, a happy little trick. One thing that Stacy got me on is Amazing this, this happy Interiors. Little crowd. Uh -huh. this is that's a really cool show. I've been watching the great, uh, the various iterations of the Great British Baking Show. What was I watching on there? We were watching something. Amazing Interiors is really cool to see what these people do, and there's people that have like million dollar interiors. I'm like, can't do that. I could have bought my house eight times. I watched the Ellen DeGeneres comedy special. How was that? I. Awful. Really? Was it awful? Really bad. Oh, well, that's, oh that's not good. Well, let me look at this. But that I like I, Ellen, so it's it, okay. It's not that it was bad. It's just in the realm of comedy, the, not funny. Well, was she not like raunchy and swearing every four seconds? Like You don't have to be. No, you, you don't, don't have, have to be. It just, just plain wasn't funny. Well, now, she, I should also mention that Jeff Dunham. What's that? <laughs> yes! Burn. Burn! I forget who it was. Was it Brian Regan or Jeff now, yeah, that came out with one recently. I don't know. I, think now, I like I like Ellen, one. but the, just the comedy special just didn't didn't do anything for me. It didn't land. No. No. What was she talking about? I don't uh, know. Ellen things. NBC. That's how much it didn't land. Now, now, can't Joe, remember what Joe it was Rogan's. about. Joe Rogan's. She was talking, She was doing a whole bit in the beginning about like, oh, can you even do a comedy special anymore since you're all rich and famous? And then was doing the whole thing of like, I'm. I was like, I'm so normal because, you know, I'm like everyone else. Johnny pulls the Bentley around in the morning. It was like doing that bit for half an hour. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> so she's doing like 80s style comedy today. Bad 80s yeah. style comedy. Yeah, it was like, it like, was like, it was like, this is what you're, this is your opening bit. Like you oh could, no! You need to talk to other comedians first. You could, you could do bad comedy. Yeah. And have it really land. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like you totally can. Like if you're can. doing it in the right way. Yeah. Bad comedy can be hilarious. Yeah. Oh yeah. But but it, this was done like the wrong way. Oh no. No, Mister. No, Mister Ellen. No, no, Missus no, Ellen. No, no, no com, no funny. No funny. <laughs> Come back later. Yes. Uh, not good. It's not that the show is even. Remotely. Even half as good no. as a bad comedy special. Although we will take a quarter of what Netflix plays. We will, it. yeah, that's fine. We'll take a, yeah. And Netflix could own us. Listen, we, we'll do a weekly show for all eternity, you know? For a quarter of the price? Mm -hmm. I say so. I mean, split even a quarter of the price total. We'll split between us, yeah. yeah. You don't even need a lot for a budget. You, yeah, yeah really no, no, you include our that in the budget. because really, really, just pick up the Chinese food. Yeah. <laughs> All that we really need is three, Chinese food and some vitamin water. Three, three cameras and two slices. But not the late show. Eat. Not brought to you by vitamin water. Dragon uh, fruit. It's my favorite. Um, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. Not a sponsor. I said not sponsored by. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, just give me enough where I can live. Take care of family. Yeah. Um, Good. That's it. Not asking well, for a Netflix, Netflix? We will tattoo Pat like a NASCAR. Mm. Like, we'll do it. This episode is brought the, to you by, hold on, the, Pat, turn over. No, not, not, not in the face. Thank you, not the face. Pat, it's turn over, hairy. bend over a little, and lift your left leg. Oh, brought to you by Condom Depot. Got it. <laughs> like, people, exactly. people don't want to see, like, some Old Spice deodorant with hair growing Should out be of like, it. be like, old, old Spice. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Right? I, I'm just, like, all the right. The hamster I'm, just woke up. All right, here's the question. How much would Old Spice have to pay you to tattoo an Old Spice deodorant, like, right here? I might actually just do that. <laughs> oh, no. Get, get some coin for it. Definitely get some coin for it. I'm feeling like, like, all right, let's pretend you're not paying for a tattoo. Let's just pretend it's all have paid for. Have I told for. you that I've been looking at getting a bunch more? So, yeah. 
That might not be. Um, anyways. Uh, well, you, how can much? Do, you can do like they did with the traffic copters, mm -hmm. where like if it's flying one direction, it's for like the Connecticut station. It's uh -huh. flying the other direction. It's logo for the uh, New York station. So under here, you can have Old Spice, and over, over here, you can like, have Axe or something. Like right guard right. Or Yeah, right guard, Dove, you know, whatever. I feel like you should, like, if you do a tattoo, you should, like, lift up your arm, and it should be look like a tattooed pouch with a kangaroo coming out with a thing of Old Spice. <coughs> can I up that one, one yeah, more? Yeah, yeah. Like, have it be, like, a kangaroo pouch with Terry Crews coming out? Yes! Oh, absolutely. Yes! And then have him have the, uh, the Old, Old Spice. Spice. Yeah, just, like... Two hands on this giant. But old if spice. you make it too good, I would uh -huh. I would really do it for free. Um, let's say uh, five thousand dollars. I really feel like we need to re reach out to Old Spice. I feel like this is within the realm of reality. Like we need to come. No, up the realm like, of reality is you paying Pat five thousand dollars and just making. No, him do I think it. we can make this happen. Well, I'm just saying, like five thousand dollars, and they pay for the tattoo. Yeah. Perfect. i do it. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Well, Brad knows what he's doing on the plane tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but, but here's... He's gonna email Old Spice. Listen, we got an idea. But here's the thing. It's like... Showing off the tattoo... 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 <laughs> requires Ooh, you to boy. be shirtless. So no, it I, doesn't. It doesn't? I'll just wear one tank of tops? Wear one of those uh, 80s, like... Yeah, tank tops. Yeah, 80s that tank has, tops. That has the that... deep... Oh uh, yeah. Deep cutouts. Or so that I can just sit there and from the Freddie Mercury collection. Be like, Brad, yeah. Yeah, there like, you go. Brad, let me tell you a story. Meanwhile, yeah, the, the camera's really just on Terry yeah, Crews in my Cruz, armpit. Yeah. Which, by the way, I would totally get that. Tattoo. That would be hilarious. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, we need to we need to make I, this is we need to get Pat some money and a tattoo. This is, I just feel, I feel like this is my now my mission in life. I got a flight tomorrow. You know, it. like my knees could be like tattooed with copper tone. I don't. I think I. Yeah, but then are you doing it for comedy at that point now? I'm doing it for five thousand dollars and paying five thousand dollars. Yeah, five thousand dollars per body part. <laughs> All right, there you go. God, I'm getting. How about you, Jay? I'm gonna make away with like so many, like ten thousand dollars. What, what would it take for you to do that tattoo? Terry Crews in your armpit. Sure. What's what's your dollar amount? Can can I can I actually get him to autograph something and have that autograph put next to it too? No, that's next to Pat. I think I think that I think that would be feasible. What okay. if Terry Crews actually does the tattoo no. himself? No. Although he probably <laughs> <laughs> that case fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Uh, dude, dude surprised you with what stuff he can I'm do. sure he's a very skilled gentleman, but somehow a uh, skilled tattoo artist usually is not in most people's repertoire. Do you really want to take that roll of the die? I'll, I would let him sign his own set. name on my body. Uh, yes. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Ted, he'd be trying tetanus, to, he'd be, what's that? He'd be trying to do it like that. I'd be like, no, 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 you gotta slow. Go slow, yeah, go yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Is, is Stacy busy? Can we, can, we, can we bug her to... Does she do tattoos? Well, no. No, she has them. To conceptualize the drawing. Oh, that's right. Are we doing Terry Crews or are we doing the uh, deodorant? I think we need to do Terry, like a tiny Terry Crews, like coming out of like a kangaroo pocket underneath his arm holding a giant deodorant. I'll work on that. Okay. Yeah. Because I just, that would be, if not, like, even if Pat doesn't get the tattoo, she should, like, make t shirts of that. That would be awesome. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> Since this is live, we can get an instant. Uh... I also feel like we could sell t-shirts where instead of the, the little pocket being here, it's underneath here, and there's a little Terry Crews coming out on the t-shirt. I have like just a little string so that way, as you lift it up, he Since pops out. Since you are a very talented I artist, I think it's just comic, printed on there and reveals. For you, okay. Period. Yeah. That'd be like Old Spice's new design. Have like their, yeah. Have like their little logo right here, almost uh, like a polo shirt. Uh-huh. And then just have the Terry Crews in Exactly. You don't see it until you lift your arm. You're like, oh, hi, Mr. Crews. You know? Be like, welcome to the gun show. <laughs> So uh, how do we want to do it? An artist. She. We want her to do an artist's conceptual drawing of yeah. Terry Crews coming, coming out, out of, of like a kangaroo, kangaroo pocket pit. underneath Pat's holding, arm, holding, holding a, a giant, giant deodorant, deodorant up to his armpit. Would you be able to draw a concept art piece of Terry Crews coming out of a kangaroo. kangaroo's pouch while holding an Old Spice deodorant stick above his head? Question giant mark. size. Yeah, because it can't be a little normal. Yeah, it guys. can't be like... Because then it would be like... It can't be big. like, the power is yours! It has to be like giant. Because he has to... It has to... Yeah. 
holding a giant Old Spice deodorant stick above his yeah. head. Yeah. Although I would be very scared because I've seen him in those commercials. He tends to just burst out of places. Yeah. So I'd be afraid of him bursting out of my armpit at any given moment. That's true. Yeah. There you go. That's what Terry Crews does. Yeah. I know. It's a thing now. Uh, all right. I like that. That's, uh, that's I good. will wait for her answer, and you'll all get uh-huh. it live. Okay, good. Nice. Uh, so what else we got in tech news besides Terry Crews' uh, so, that armpit? So this is something very exciting that if uh, Deb doesn't know this by now, she needs to. Okay. Uh, for the first time ever in existence. Wait, wait. Forever, ever? Forever, ever. Oh, forever, ever. Disney's Mickey Mouse ice cream bars will be sold in stores. Oh, oh. I, told, I, I sent this to Deb on Facebook. On Deeb? I think I texted her, actually. Or no, I did Facebook. Are they made with real mouse? Yes. <laughs> uh, if they're made in New Jersey. Um, <laughs> so the in-store... Yeah, with, the, the, with intolerance. The in-store bar is going to be three ounces versus four that you get in the park. Right. Um, I feel like it's it's going to be made by the Nestle Corporation. Oh. And People for a six-pack, it's going to cost $7.50 versus $6 each in the park. Where are my Mickey Waffles? Uh, I'll make you that's waffles. That's next. I can make you Mickey waffles. Can you really? Yeah, you just make a waffle and you get two little. No, it's not a Mickey waffle. You cut it out. It's not a Mickey waffle. Make your ears. Although, you know what I've been tempted you, to do buy? Want a, do you want a Captain America Shield one? No. Because I can make that. You know what I've been really tempted to buy? Mm. Is the pancake 3D printer. It's basically like a griddle with like a big syringe above it and it yeah, like prints pancakes. Can we play tic tac toe? We could. We, you'd lose every time because I'd program it. But oh. uh, I've been tempted several times to do that because it's been like just cheap enough to consider. What's just cheap enough? Like two seventy-five. Uh, that's not. That's too expensive for me to make payments. I've spent more on on more stupid. I spent more on things that are more stupid. Not stupid. No, that cooks brats really that fast. That is true. That is a utility. Come and summertime. Yes. Oh, by the way, this is uh, completely unrelated. Okay. Mm. I'm just saying, when you do go over and see the puppy, you need to take photos of the puppy in the snow, because I'm, I'm going to miss that. My dad sucks at taking video. Okay. Just saying, need your puppy. If it actually know. snows. It might. Maybe. I think it is around here. But it's supposed to. It was supposed to today. Or we're going to have a nice apocalypse. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Brett, Brett's getting on the first yeah, flight out I'm, tomorrow, so. Yeah, well, I'm going to 6 p.m. flight tomorrow out. Oh, 6, 6 p.m.? Yeah. Ooh, you're going to be okay. flirting. Well, it's better than the 6 a.m. flight on Sunday that I was originally on. Oh, then it's a lot better. Yeah. Because the snow starts is supposed to start around, what, what 7 four? or 8? When's this? 4 to 5 p.m. Tomorrow? Yeah. It's... Oh, good. And Brittany's doing working 6 to 1. She works from home. Sorry, one to six. Yeah. A.M. I work six A to six P. So I'm gonna get it coming and going. And I say guess what she said. Guess not. Um, hey, what else we got? So, if you've ever had children, and Pat's gonna have some soon, I'm sure. Uh, well, you <laughs> will know that if you have. Oh, a, she hasn't told you yet. Nope. Well, she told me. <laughs> she didn't tell you. Nope. Weird. If you've ever, ever had a fussy baby that will not fall asleep, one thing that will be sure to make him fall asleep rum. Is, you got a fussy puppy. Rum. is rum. Get your kid cocked, and you will have a quiet night. Yeah. Oh, you no, look like you're having an true. allergic reaction. Here's a lot of Benadryl. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> no, but seriously, one thing that will put him to sleep is take him for a ride in a car. The next night. Oh, you're okay. still having that allergic reaction. Drink more. <laughs> Well, like, I always, I always laugh when people give their kids, like, oh, here's some NyQuil. You mean booze? <laughs> you just gave, hey, here, you'll feel better. Have some booze. Yeah, but now it's even better because ZQuil yeah. is just the active ingredient in NyQuil that just makes you booze. Out. So, out the out. active ingredient is not some sort of magical medicine. It's booze. It's magical booze. 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 Bad tasting booze. <laughs> but anyway, the sound and riding in a vehicle... Makes a baby fall asleep. Okay. Honda has now developed a gadget based on that concept. All right. But instead of bringing the baby to the car, Honda's sound sitter brings the car to the baby. The company tried out the sounds of 37 different car engines, including various Civic models, Accords, and Integras, ultimately determining that the sound of the NSX engine was the most effective (laughs) when it came to soothing babies. All I'm picturing is a minivan just, like, busting through a living room wall. (laughs) 
Honey, Baby I can't sleep. They didn't try anything by Ferrari, though, did they? Or Porsche? Well, it's just McLaren? Honda that did it. No, it's just no. Honda. All right. When the researchers tried out on newborns aged six months to one and a half years, 11 out of 12 seemed to experience comfort, while seven showed reduced heart rates. Did they try it on adults? Uh, no, but I'm willing to try. Yeah, me too. On the website, Honda explains that the induced comfort may be because the low frequencies of the engine sounds are comparable to what babies hear in the womb. Interesting. Okay. Now, Honda packaged the NSX engine sound into a red car-shaped plush toy and recently let parents try it out in an event. The company, however, doesn't have plans to produce the toy, but it has made the sounds of three engines, the NSX, the Integra Type R, and the S2000, available online. Okay. Is there a website? Probably, but this is from about a month ah, ago. Ah, damn it. All right, hold on. Honda you know you're, you know you're sleeping play. NSX. Acura uh, and Honda are the same company. Looking. The only reason it's a separate company here is because of America. Looking. No, in America. Okay. I don't know where that is. Did you find it? No. Okay. Look it up on Engadget. That's I'm it. working on it. I thought you had it. No. So moving on, do you remember the game Lemmings? I yeah. do. Fun game. It's coming back. Yay! And it's going to be on mobile. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Nope. Yep, going to be a great parent. <laughs> The revving. Uh, does it play the shitty electro music too? Because then I'm out. Why is it actually on their website? It's a video. Yeah, I don't think that's the right thing. It's just. It's their video. It's like listening to the ambient sounds of the Enterprise engine. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna do Honda NSX Idle. Why don't you just do Honda Sleeping Baby? I tried. It's not working. You failed. Hold on. So anyway, the game Lemmings is coming back, albeit with some catches. Sony and Sad Puppy, which is the studio making it, have released the simply titled Lemmings for Android and iOS. Nothing Look, on PlayStation yet. What? I win. <laughs> that's not a, that's a Cummins Diesel. Close enough. Ah, oh, that does put me to sleep. Let me find another one. Oh, wait, here's one. None of those are Honda NSXs, though. What is this, Brad? Okay, stop your thing. Okay, stop, stop there, stop it! I'm trying! Okay, D Doug, Rob, can you stop for a second? You're so good at identifying engines. What engine is that? Oh, Star Trek Enterprise. D. Did you see that? No. <laughs> That's nice. Anyways, really, how did you get the Star Trek thing? I, the person who's watched it only second to Jay, which is still an amazing amount. Ready? It's an HTTPS website. Okay. Hold on. H T T P S colon forward slash forward slash www www dot honda dot honda dot co dot co dot jp dot jp forward slash sound sitter one word forward slash sound sitter and you'll see a little baby then hopefully your uh, translation thing will pop up in the bottom asking what language you want it's a baby oh it's a japanese baby i don't see any my kanji is not working it's all japanese I think I'm turning Japanese. I, think, I really think so. I think I'm learning Japanese because it's slowly changing. 
Oh, I had fries. Oh, by the way, you know what was great about being out west? Fries. Life is peaceful there. You ever been to fries? Go no. west. Like fries, like it's like Best Buy with Radio Shack and some other great shit combined. It's amazing. It really is. Um, Why is that? Because they have like all of like little bits and bobs and parts and cables and it yeah. That that website didn't work. Yeah, except it has a shit ton of the Radio Shack stuff, right. which is amazing. Are you going to play the sound first, Jay? I'm trying to find it. We went there once. Yep. <laughs> Jay used to work out there. Yeah, you never went to the Radio Shack? Hmm. So w w w what else we got, Jay? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. All right, well, it's not coming up for me, but what else we got, Jay? Missed it entirely. Trying to identify the car? No. I'm wondering if they're ever going to take it out of neutral. No. Because... What? <laughs> it's relaxing. Yes, no, it is. That would annoy me. Because I'd be sitting there like, take it out of fucking neutral. Um, like I if, guess. if you're gonna drive and record the sound of an engine driving, actually get so, capture some noise of the engine driving. Thing, thing and stuff and stuff and things and everything's making me crazy. Is that is that it? Yes. Okay. What else we got, Jack? By the way, that engine did not sound very good. So getting back to the Lemmings thing, uh, is that when is that coming out? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, might be out now. I'm not sure. I'm looking. I'm looking. Because I really did love the Lemmings game. It said it was going to be updated. Yeah, they've gone so far to design levels of vertical phone and tablet screens in mind. On the surface, at least, it's a dose of nostalgia for people who grew up playing Is the it by games. Sad Puppy? Yes. Installing. With a few modern twists like collectible Installing. tribes and online tournaments. However, there is a catch. Oh, the new no. Lemmings Damn is... Damn it! The new Lemmings is free to play. Uh-huh. And it relies on both ads and in-app purchases to make money. Okay. You'll only have a certain amount of energy to spend, and topping it up either requires waiting or spending real cash. At least uh. you can spend $7 to get unlimited energy. You're not stuck pumping money into it like an arcade machine. Just know that the free base game is more of a demo than anything else. Of course it is. Uh, money. So now... Why can't I just buy a game? Cause I mean, reason. you can't. It would cost you 7 bucks. It, but does it hide the ads? I don't know, Brad. I don't know either. I'm, I'm, sure I'm downloading this I'm thing. sure there's a purchase option that will tell you. Uh, but while you guys do that, I'll move on. Okay. So if you were thinking that... I, I wish there's one thing that my Roomba could do. What would it be? Actually vacuum. Mm -hmm. If there's two things you were wishing your Roomba could actually do, what would they be? Not battle, smear poop battle everywhere. Other that would be amazing, actually. <laughs> Take my cleaning whip. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Naughty. You know what, Brady shot down? We got we got a uh, Amazon uh, Alexa. Yeah. I renamed it a computer. Uh huh. She said that's dumb. What? She's like, I'm not talking to it then. Oh, then you should be like, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> that would be cool. Yep. Rear Roomba. Oh God. <laughs> Don't we all, Doug? All right, Jay. What is it that Lou Roombas can now do? Certain ones. Well, you can, I don't know if it's a, uh, I'll read it in a second, but basically, there's a game developer named Rich Whitehouse, and he has found a rather unusual way to celebrate Doom's 25th anniversary. Make your robot vacuum pay tribute. The industry veteran has developed a script for the game data conversion. Well, now it's going to get worse. Conversion tool, I don't know what that says, but. That translates the floor maps from Roombas to play playable maps in the original Doom. Mm-hmm. And yes, of course, it's called... 
Doomba. Uh, of course it is. Uh, well, that's true. You'll have to specifically record the robot's journeys for this to work. You can merge files if this run is interrupted, but it can otherwise whip up a hellish version of your home with minimal effort. You can customize the experience by specifying the quantities of enemies, weapons, and pickups you'll accept. You can specify what kind of map texture you prefer, and if you're particularly adventurous, you can use this to generate maps for other games based on Doom's engine like Heretic. At the moment, the only major limitation is hardware support. White House can only confirm that Doomba works on the Roomba 980 so far. It should work with other floor mapping Roombas, but you can't vouch for them. Hmm. Weird. Are you, are you not yeah, now we're just consumed with playing Lemmings. That's fine. You do that. I'll keep reading. So, you remember SimCity? Oh, oh that hurt. Yeah. You can now use your Roomba in Sim City. Can you really? No. Oh. Damn it. Uh, so like tornado. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are why is the Roomba powering up so much? <laughs> oh no. You have natural disasters turned to maximum, don't you? <laughs> Carson I, King, who is that kid? Uh, nobody. So Sim City for the Super Nintendo was groundbreaking. Yep. It managed to combine the joy of simulated city building that Mac and Amiga gamers enjoyed into a family-friendly console title that anyone could play. But did you know that Maxis and Nintendo also had an NES version in the works, too? Interesting. Last year, two prototype cartridges of the, e of the NES SimCity appeared at the Portland Retro Gaming e Expo, and Frank Cifaldi of the Video Game History Foundation snagged a digital copy. As a fitting Christmas gift to the gaming world, he published a deep dive into the history of the long-lost game, which also covers the ways it differs from the SNES version we're all familiar with, as well as NES ROM for, emula for emulators, which you can get on archive.org. Nice. So you can actually play it. Uh, as Safali tells it, Nintendo's Shigeru Miyamoto was interested in creating a city simulation game, but once he discovered SimCity, he decided to collaborate with SimCity creator Will Wright on a version of the title for the NES and SNES. Mm -hmm. But even though both editions were announced in 91, the NES port simply disappeared. To this day, we still don't know why it was cancelled. It's particularly baffling since the prototype version seems almost complete. One guess? Nintendo could have decided it made more sense to bank on a single SNES SimCity port to give gamers more of a reason to upgrade to their new console. I guess that kind of makes sense. That does make sense. It's like, huh, this is new and upcoming, and let's not make it for the old. It's kind of like, let's make it for the Xbox One and not the right. 360. Right. Wah, wah. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. So uh, just uh, quickly, if you heard about China's, I don't know how to pronounce their language. Do your best. Go ahead. Chan Jie. What? No, it's like change, but with an apostrophe in the middle of it, or at the end of it. Basically, China has a moon lander that landed on the dark side of the moon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call it Pink Floyd. So, China's Pink Floyd touched down on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> yep. And it took some pictures and sent it back. And so now, for the first time ever, we've seen the dark side of the moon. Well, we've seen the dark side of the moon, but we've now never we've seen, seen it from it. the surface. Exactly. Yeah. What's it look like? <laughs> Rob moon has. rock-esque. I sat up, didn't I? Sorry. That'll teach me to slump over in a chair. That's cool. Science. Science. And more science. NASA released first clear images of the distant, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uranus. Kuiper? Kuiper. Is that how it's pronounced? Kuiper Belt. Yeah. Yeah, so this is going back a few weeks now. Sure. But it still happened in case you didn't know about it. It still happened. So NASA's New Horizons team in has space. released the promised first images from its history-making flyby of 486953-2014 MU69. Also known as the Kuiper Belt, and they're already also shedding Steve, and they're already shedding some light on the early solar system, while also raising some questions. The snapshot captured from as close as seventeen thousand miles away, because that's close in astronomical terms. It's pretty it close. Is. Shows that the twenty-one mile long Kuiper 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 Leave it. belt Remember. object. Think of as in like Mel Kuiper Jr. The Mel Kuiper Belt. It's spelled differently. It is spelled differently, but. Like or Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yes, no, no, there no. you go. Like Piper, Kuiper. Kuiper. Or Cobra Kai. Kuiper. <laughs> yeah. Kuiper. It's, it's the Kuiper, Cobra Kuiper. 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 Yes, just think. 
So a captured 21 mile long Kuiper Belt object is a contact binary where two spheres slowly collided and fused with each other. So it's like the beginnings of a big snowman. Yeah. This one, yeah. By the way, uh, sort of not really related. Did you see where they had that huge snowfall in Kentucky? And someone built a giant snowman in the yard and someone tried to run it over with their car? <laughs> no. The truck tried to be an asshole and go, ha ha, screw you, but they built it on top of a uh, large, tree stump. Very, very large. A large oh. tree stump. Oh. <laughs> so let me guess, it just went, you see a yeah, large it, bumper mark? It did not get far. Yeah. That's pretty funny. What did you do to the truck, Johnny? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. This is I was just driving through yards like I usually do after I go drinking. And I saw a big fat man. Fat man, I'm going like, I'm going to squish him. Drew you with your corncob putt. But he's a strong I man. Don't even... I, <laughs> I hit him and he hit back. So j just to shed some light on, you can't name anything anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there's can. some controversy over the name. Scientists named originally... Originally named it Ultima Thule because the term refers that it's beyond the limits of the known world. Uh huh. In practice, though, it carries racist connotations. How? Because Nazis and other white supremacists used the term to refer to a mythological homeland for their culture. So it's like, really? Yeah, the Nazis yeah. jacked that up on us, too? The Nazis jacked up on everything. Well, God damn it, true. Nazis. Now you can't you even have you certain nice... mustaches anymore. You ruined I... the Kuiper Belt thingy. <laughs> I forget what it was called. I I used to know what it was yeah. called. Do you know what the, the Do you know what the cross is called that the swastika uses? Uh, it's a Buddhist thing. Yeah. yeah no. It's a it's a, it's, it, it's a peace symbol actually. Yeah. It. So they they actually took that. No, they no. It's the same thing. They took that cross. And it does. And they put a they put a circle around it. It's oh I think it's it's Tibetan, isn't it? Something like that. Tibetan peace symbol. Tibetan Buddhist. So somebody. Put that, yeah, it it. yeah. Put that. Put that on. You know, like it was on some picture they did, and they said, "I didn't know that you were a Nazi." And he said, "I'm not. Right. That's not a not Nazi symbol. This is, and it's the the swastika with a circle around it. Right. Totally on? different. One more story, and then we're gonna co do coming or came to home <laughs> theaters. <laughs> I tried to go for February too, since we're not here next week. By the way, we're not here next week. What? But uh, yeah, I tried to get in, next week, I'll but it's be in not Mickey Mouse World. It's not out. Getting six dollar fucking Mickey Mouse ice creams, without us. What the douche? You're welcome. So there's you a bring them back. So speaking no. of Netflix and coming out with new stuff, they have a new original coming out, and it's going to star Steve Carell. This looks amazing. Wait, Don't wait, 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 wait. What's this? What is this one? Oh, I can't wait for this. <laughs> In a video, which was available on the site, Netflix Netflix has revealed a new workplace comedy called Space Force. Got an idea where this is going? I don't remember this one. Because it's brand new and it's not out yet. No, I mean, I don't even remember hearing Which about it. Which will center on the fictional folks tasked with gener with getting President Trump's Space Force up and running. In an overlay, uh, it shows how last year the Trump administration announced Space Force as the future sixth military branch. The goal of the new branch is, quote, to defend satellites from attack and perform other space-related tasks or something. Nope. It continues adding that the no series working. will feature the men and women who have to figure it out. It's basically the office except the Space Force. Yeah. yeah. Carell co-created and will also star in the series. Greg Daniels, known for his work behind the U.S. version of The Office and Parks and Rec, among other popular titles like King of the Hill. Is John Krasinski going to be in it? Maybe. Created the series alongside Carell. Though Carell is also slated to star in Apple's upcoming Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston-led morning TV show drama, Deadline reports that he has still appeared to be attached to both projects. Well, I mean, why not? I mean, well, Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston together, that's nothing to shake a stick at either. Have they ever been together? I God, I hope so. All right, coming to home theaters, get your 1 to 10 ratings out of how excited or how much you give a shit there is. Already out as of January 1st on the flicks of net. Black Hawk Down. Seven. It's a really great movie. Oh, sorry, eight. <laughs> Don't ask me which one, but Godzilla. Uh, four. Two. It's an animated one. Is it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. One. Happy Feet. Four. Four. Sure. Yeah, they're penguins. 
And only that's the only reason he gets a four. Robin Williams is in it. Yeah, uh, five. <laughs> five. I know what you did last summer. I know. Two. <laughs> yeah. Ditto. I still don't know if you did it. Indiana Jones and mm-hmm. King of the Crystal Skull. One. <laughs> four. <laughs> last Crusade. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Seven or eight. So seven and a half. I'm giving it a ten. Straight ten. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Seven. Eight. 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 Temple of Dom. Seven. Really? For the original? Nine. I like that one best. How come? It's mm-hmm. my favorite one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Seven. 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 Jersey Boys. Uh, Which one's Jersey Boys? Uh, I don't know. I think it stars Ben Affleck, uh, so two. <laughs> I think that's a Kevin Smith movie, too, isn't it? Is it? I, I think know. so. Jersey Boys? I think so. Maybe not. I could be. Uh, I, don't I know. think it's a Kiefer Sutherland film. I think it was good. Um, it's two. Right. Uh, Jersey. No, I already did that. Mr. Bean's Holiday. One. Uh, for Britney's sake, six, because she loves Mr. Bean. <laughs> Pan's Labyrinth. I haven't seen it. I'd like to. Six? I mean, it's, it's a one-watch film. Pulp Fiction. Nine. Seven. Tears of the Sun. That was good. Six. Yeah, six. I was actually excited because those are two movies I've actually seen back to back. I was very excited by that. Uh, the Adams Family. Lunch one. Yes. If it's seven. the first one, yeah, seven. If it's the second one, less. less. <laughs> the Dark Knight. Oh, got uh, nine. Nine. Yeah. The Departed. Nine. nine. The Mummy. Which one? The first one. The Brendan Fraser one. Yeah. Eight. Six. The Mummy Returns. Five. Five. Triple X. Which one? First one. Three. Yeah. State of the Union. The two. Two. (laughs) You lost an X. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Monty Python, the Holy Grail. January 2nd, it was out. Eight. Uh, Already out. Solo, a Star Wars story. Not a movie. It actually wasn't bad. Six or seven. Yeah, six or seven. Yeah. Six and a half. Yep. It's like kissing your cousin. Carmen San Diego. Zero. Fuck that girl. I don't care. <laughs> Go steal your shit from other countries. <laughs> Zero. Cause I mean, I've, I, I, I can't. I, I've never yep. heard of it. I mean, I've, I've heard of Carmen San Diego. But Rockapella. Rockapella. Mm, do nope. Hulu already out. Actually, it looks like Two. all these things are out. <laughs> Two. Uh, oh. nine, nine to five. The Dolly, Two. The Dolly Parton movie, I believe. Two. Right? Two. Uh, a Charlie Brown Valentine. Two. Uh, only because I like Charlie Brown 3. <laughs> Dev would be very upset. A Walk to Remember. Which I think was Mandy Moore, Five. wasn't it? Five. It's not bad. I don't know that one. It's not bad. <laughs> this one I threw in here just for comedic purpose. Mm. Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein. Zero. Ten. Negative. Wait. Absolute zero. Whatever absolute zero is. Uh, Ele- yeah, 11. 11. Wow. 11. Our first ever 11. Minus 461 degrees yeah, Fahrenheit. <laughs> wow. Oh. There. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you average Brad and my scores, it's going to be minus, minus 292. <laughs> yeah. And then Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman. Uh, below absolute zero. <laughs> Ants with a Z. Uh, uh, just, keep, uh, just keep subtracting numbers. Uh, <laughs> uh, two. Babe. The pig? Pig in the city? Yeah. Oh, man, I haven't seen that in a long time. Pig, pig Four. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Basic instinct. Seven, right? What? Isn't that good? Isn't that good movie? The the, the hoo ha movie with with what's her name? Oh. Sharon Stone, isn't it? Yeah, Sharon Stone. You'd see her her thinking for like three set like three whatever milliseconds. Two. Beetlejuice. Ooh, seven. Ooh, seven. Beowulf. Ugh. Two. Yeah. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Seven. Five. Bogus Journey. Five. Seven. Oh, the Brady Bunch movie. Two. <clears throat> wow, that's very generous. I did not think that would happen. Uh, Children of the Corn. Four. Three. Cujo. Three. Four. Finding Neverland. Never seen it. Five. Friday Night Lights. Nine. Seven. One. Nine. I love Friday Night Lights. Hmm. Hellraiser. Four. Four. Lethal Weapon One. Seven. Seven. Two. Seven. Six. Three. Seven. Six. Four. Five. Five. Oh, then it, then it went down? Yeah. The Never Ending Story 2. 
the next no, chapter. No, 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 one. <laughs> the two is one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got that wrong. It's if, one. If, if you said the never Actually, I, I think story. it might be both yeah. of them. So the never story. Ten. Seven. And then two. One. one. I've never actually seen the next chapter. You're not missing anything. Yeah, I didn't don't bother. So. Patch Adams. Six. Yeah. Pet Cemetery. Two. Two. Pet Cemetery two. Two. One. Ooh. Rain Man. Five. Six. Shrek. Five. Six. Stephen King's Graveyard Shift. Four. Two. Silver Bullet. Two. Two. Thinner. Two. Two. Wow. Total Recall. Which one? They didn't say. If they gave a year, I'd be happy to tell you. Schwarzenegger, seven. Mark, yep. Marky Mark. Uh, no, actually, it's Colin Farrell. Uh, three. I can't tell them apart. <laughs> three. One. Wait, they're not the same person? It's yeah. Not, I give it the three because Jessica Biel and okay. um, Kate Beckinsale are in it. Sure. Uh, True Grit. Which one? Which one? Well, either both of them are actually really good. I seen seven. I six. They're both, the they're both really good. Yeah. Right. The Twilight Saga. The whole the whole series? New Moon. What? New Moon. Okay, now keep going. Well, there, there's all Oh, of them Twilight movies. Yes. Oh. Yeah. One. Zero. <laughs> Eclipse. Zero. One. Breaking Dawn Part One. Zero. One. Two. Zero. One. Uh, January 6th, this came out. Disaster movie. Which Two. I think is like the only parody one I haven't seen yet. One. Yeah, one. Uh, and just to see if you guys are a fan, Brooklyn Nine Nine Season Six. I'm nine. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna remain undetermined because I have not seen it. You haven't seen Brooklyn Nine Nine? Oh, you gotta watch Brooklyn Nine Nine. It, it is a good show. Uh, and only two things worth mentioning on Amazon: mm. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Which one? Which one? The first one. Seven. Seven. Johnny Depp's version. Two. two. Mm. And the Grand Tour season three, which came out right now. Ten. Ten. It's and Amazon. the video game came out today, too. It's Amazon's hit now show. Now that I know that the first episode's out, I'm going to go <laughs> it home. Is, that was it's Amazon's hit show. Hit, it, no, hit, hit car game. show. Oh, no, yeah. It was Amazon's hit car show. Which, if you look Which at... Which is not... That's my water. Back. Yeah, it is. That's, that's my water. Only has specials. Whatever. I'm just saying, you might not want my cooties. I don't even... Yeah. That was a pretty big tag. <laughs> yeah. Did you see Jay right there? What time is it, Jay? It <laughs> is 10.22 a.m. Right. at the Tone. Bing bong. Doug has a question. Yes, Doug. Uh, yes to the gentleman in the booth. What about that old Top Gear, or, sorry, the Grand Tour thing? It's only going to be specials. No more series. Is it? Yeah, we I'll talked about watch. that a while ago. Watch. Yeah. Was it about time? No. No, because no. I, I do My really good like Lord the proper Jesus. car reviews. And I stuff. do, yeah, I do like their real car reviews. Yeah. Believe it or not. Right. Yeah. I mean, not that I'm going to be going out and getting an Aston Aren't Martin you? DB9 or whatever. Yeah, but they can do but their reviews in the car anyhow. Can you? It's yeah. not the you same. You don't need a studio. The it's not the same. No, because then no. they're just reviewing three cars over the course of yeah. an hour and a half. I don't know. Have they jumped the shark? No. Uh, no I mean, if several they, times, but it's still very yeah, entertaining. Yeah, I was going to say, if, if they have, they've done it on purpose. All right. Again, you can do bad comedy. Right. When it's done right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they do whatever they do. Right. No, you have brought this full circle. It. Exactly. Yeah. See? What? Are they losing it? No. No. All right. They never had it. Ah! You know what? They'd probably say that too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Do wait. Did did uh? Is Hammond still alive? Yes. For now. Okay. Good. Well, then it can't be that good of a season. Oh look. Yeah. All right. Here's the uh. Video oh, are you are you playing it right now? You're so good at playing without it without any hands. Yeah. No, I'm just tilting like this. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Nailed it. So what'd you learn today, Jay? We're already going down that path. No. Top three. <laughs> top three? What are we top three? Hold on, I have to blow the dust off of it. <laughs> top, top three Top Gear specials. Mm, Bolivia. Death Road. Is that Bolivia? Yeah, Death Road, North Pole. North Pole. And... <laughs> what about one, the one where the they, one they, where they got sued it? because they came to America. No. No, no, no the, the, the one where, um, what's his name, got like a concussion. They had to drive through the There's desert. There's so many. They, uh, Jezzer made a tent car. Yeah. Which one is that? Oh, that is that Botswana? Road. Yeah, Botswana, yeah. That's not Death Road. No? All right. Death Road, North Pole. You got to have Bolivia where you use the chainsaw. Yeah, the that boat. and where they find the source of the Nile. That was a good one. They planted their flag and everything. Yeah. 
Oh, those poor Or guys. the one where they drive through, like, Iraq. <laughs> the Iraq one was pretty good. All right, so... That, that was... Bolivia uh, and North Pole. Bolivia and North Pole. I mean, I would... Yeah. Either of those. Is, yeah, any of those are good. Yep. Yeah, and they're all really good. Yes. Oh, the Vietnam one, though. Oh, that was good, too. You know what? All of them. All Top of three's them. tied. Oh, it's like children. You know, you have... They're, they're all equal, except for a couple, which are your favorites. Now, which, which one... <laughs> Which one was your favorite, like, regular show, like, skit that they did? I'm on, like, three hours of sleep. I'm lucky if I remember my name. What do you mean, like, the skit or, like, the... Like, mine, personally, was when they made police cars. So, favorite Out show. of, like... Oh, oh, what yeah, oh favorite, the, thank you. The, I couldn't... All right, I have two. The segment, the word wouldn't come I out. have two. All right, do it. And they're both cop-outs. <laughs> well, well, one of them is a cop out. One is the combination of all the segments they did about trying to destroy the Toyota Tacoma. That was or the that Toyota was that was pretty good. The Helix. So if you combine all three of those segments together, that's my favorite right there. But if you're making me pick just one, it's the Space Shuttle uh, Robin Reliant. The one where they actually tried. Yeah. And then blew it up at the and end. They blew it up. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, turning the cars into boats is their classic. Right. <laughs> no, I've done it like what two or three times. Yeah. 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 But. The caravanning one is probably my favorite episode. Oh my to god, watch. that was a really That's good great. one too. That's good. Uh, brilliant. Hey Jay. Hi. Uh, where can promo thing? Okay. Not so. Uh, you can go to youtube.com slash nslstv, facebook.com slash nslstv, twitter.com slash nslstv. Email us at nslstv at gmail.com. Nslstv. You know, you can go to our website, but your computer. May blow up. Mm-hmm. So don't. I don't there, there, is my, there is no may. You could. There, you could will. also yep. watch us on new. the midnight replay. Ooh, at midnight. Week. Yeah, you can watch this. And yeah, mid- yeah. There'll be something on at midnight. Yes. It'll be us. It may not be this, but it might be. Uh, it'll still <laughs> it'll be, be us. something. It'll be something. It'll be a thing. Yeah. The the so, pic, the motion picture thingies yep. will be moving. Um. Yeah. Uh. There you go. Jay, what'd you learn today? Learny. You what? <laughs> CES people smell. Yes. Bad. Like, uh-huh. bad. Mm-hmm. That's not cool, bro. No, bro. Never been. Didn't know. Now I do. Now you do. Now I'm more prepared. Yep. The more you know. Ding, 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 ding. What did you learn today, Pat? I learned that I'm going to make probably about $15,000. I know. <laughs> I know. I really feel like there's a whole market for your armpit Terry Crews deodorant <laughs> tattoo. Oh, did she ever get back to you? No, I haven't heard back. She's probably uh, falling asleep. She probably saw that and was like, bored, and then fell asleep. <laughs> That's uninspired. <laughs> uninspired. I've already done that. Or she just said, nerd, and then just nerd. turned her phone off. Or she went, who's Terry Crews? Nerd alert. Maybe she's still Googling to her, Terry Crews. That's why she <laughs> hasn't gotten back. <laughs> she, you gotta oh. oh, she... She oh. Googled it already. Oh, yeah. Oh, Terry Crews. Oh, my. Got two minutes, go. I'm part of Terry's crew. That's what she's saying. What? Yeah. OMG. That's just weird. OMG. Um, OMG. Um, um, do, do, do you know anybody that uses those, like, in common vernacular? What's that? Like, goes, OMG, that's so funny. Yeah, but I don't all tend the age to of associate 20. talk or hang out with I knew that somebody longer. that said OMG all the time. And then... They went to work from home. Thank God. I was just like, oh. wait, doesn't your fiance work from home? OMG, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Uh, Pointing out the obvious here. Nailed it. Doesn't nailed your fiance work from home? Pants armpit brought to you. Yeah, by but she's older than Terry Crews. <laughs> Terry Crews and Old Spy. When did Casey Kasem become my. I don't know. This when armpit is brought to you by Casey Kasem <laughs> on your top 25. Would you do an honorary Casey Kasem tattoo under one? Just to say that this Why does it have commercial- to be under my armpit? Why can't I get it somewhere else? Because, because you can't show your balls to everybody. Yeah, but I can get it on like, my calf. By the way, the, from there on out, if you Why do, do you that, you're, you're... Yeah. Well, because I don't like baby cows. Oh. I'd, I'd get a Casey Kasem on my, on my calf that Kasem. says... Going out top well, 22. It's like a long distance dedication. Long distance dedication. Really, my Casey Kasem has gone from it's voiceover Doug. guy to Doug. Casey Kasem and eventually ends up at Doug, who's slacking on the whole sportsy thing. Ah, oh, God. Except for Doug, Doug's a little bit lower. He's a little bit lower, but I tend to do impressions high anyways. You do. 
Like, Cause otherwise, they end up sounding like Jiminy Glick. <laughs> or, or, or one of uh, Marge's sisters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Jiminy Glick. <laughs> uh,